Hi there, this is Sage Queen from GameTours.com, and by request, this is a guide to fly cam for Skyrim Elder Scrolls V. Also, a couple of notes about screenshots um, and some other console commands that you might find useful for that game. Quick disclaimer before we get started, um, be aware that any hacking that you do to your game of any kind may mess up your game, may break it. So you do this at your own risk. Game Taurus will not be responsible, I will not be responsible, Bethesda will not be responsible if you break your own game by trying any of this stuff. If you follow our blog, GameTourists.com, or if you've been following this YouTube channel, you've probably seen that I use a lot of Flycam. Primarily that's been for Mass Effect. Now in a lot of other games, Flycam is kind of complicated. You have to enable it in the any files, um, do some custom hacks. For Skyrim, it's really darn simple because they've got a developer console that's available anytime you hit the tilde key. To get yourself into Flycam mode, all you have to do is bring up the developer console. Again, on the PC, that's by hitting the tilde key. As soon as that pops up, you can then type in TFC for Toggle Flycam. Very easy. And then go ahead and hit Enter. You always have to hit Enter to make these commands take effect. Hit uh, the tilde key again to take off the console interface, and now you are in Flycam mode. In Flycam mode, instead of the mouse and the WASD keys, the WASD keys, um, moving the character around, it now leaves the character where you last were and takes the camera out into Flycam mode. You can explore the world, you can explore dungeons, and just kind of zoom around to your heart's content. Keep in mind that this seems to work best when you're actually in the wide world. When you're down in a dungeon, you can pop outside of a wall momentarily and find yourself kind of in the stratosphere, uh, sort of lost as it were. I did this once and basically had to kind of go back in through a wall and then chase down the dungeon in fly camo to find my character again to take a screenshot of her. Of course, it doesn't matter if you get a little bit lost, because as soon as you're done with Flycam mode, just hit the tilde key again to bring up the developer console, hit TFC, enter, tilde key to take it away, and you will pop right back into the head of your character, and you're ready to go on your merry way. Alright, so that's it for Flycam. Very nice and simple. Now, if you wanted to take screenshots, it's nice to get the menu overlay off the top. For the most part, Skyrim is very minimalistic. There's not a whole lot of buttons in your way, but you do have that little crosshairs in the center of the screen, and you do have the directional bar at the top. To get rid of the heads-up display, the menu, or the user interface, whatever you want to call it, you're going to toggle the menu off. Hit tilde key to bring up the developer console, type in TM for toggle menu, hit the t enter to make it take effect, and then hit the tilde key again to make uh, the game resume. However, as soon as you get rid of the menu, you've gotten rid of everything, including the view of the developer console. Nothing will show on the screen. No names, no nothing. So to get rid of that, you're going to have to type blindly. You'll have to hit the tilde key to bring up the developer console, type TM, enter, then you'll see that menu again, and now you're back into the game again. Alright, so now that you can toggle yourself into Flycam and you can take the menu off, you can take gorgeous, gorgeous screenshots of the world. Now, I've had some trouble taking combat screenshots. At the end of a battle, if you manage to land a critical kill, you get a really cool little mini cutscene, and you can really quickly spam the screenshot key, maybe get a good shot. But beyond that, it's really hard to get in-battle screenshots, and here's why. As soon as you pop yourself up into fly cam mode, you are no longer controlling your character. So if you're in combat, your character is now standing there helplessly, not being controlled by you. You can zoom up above and get a really great look at your character as they're being killed but you can't fight and take pictures at the same time. Or rather, you can take pictures, you can certainly screenshot, but you cannot use the fly cam at the same point in time. Now, in other games like Mass Effect, there's a kind of cool uh, hack pause where you can basically pause the, the game while in combat, then put yourself in fly cam mode, take off the menu, zoom around, look back at yourself, and take a screenshot. There is no such pause of that style in Skyrim that I have found. Bringing up the quick keys or bringing up the menus will pause the game momentarily, and if you have the toggle menu off, you'll be looking at a blank screen and you can see a lot of stuff, but you can't move the fly cam in those modes. So I have to admit that as of yet, I found no effective way of pausing the game, getting yourself in a fly cam mode, getting the menus off, zooming out around, and looking back at yourself. Basically, the way the commands are set up is as soon as you're in a menu, you're paused, you can't move. As soon as you unpause, the game resumes, and if you're not, if you're in fly cam mode, you're likely to get beat on and die. So if anybody comes up with some really cool pause the game hack other than the menu keys, I'd love to hear about it. Haven't found it yet. 
One cool thing you can do, however, is you can get yourself into, say, a sneak mode, get yourself into an area near a bad guy, and then you can go ahead and toggle yourself into fly cam mode, toggle the menu off, and you can go zooming around the corner and take some pretty cool screenshots of the baddies that you are about to fight. That is a fun way to look around a dungeon. It's also a little unfair advantage of getting to see what's up ahead. A couple of other console commands that you may find useful, you can actually find a more complete list on the Elder Scrolls Wiki. That's the website link right there, or just look up Elder Scrolls Wiki and then look for console commands. The one that I used a lot was a show race menu. If you're like me, you make a character and then you don't quite like their face and you just want to tweak that one thing. So this will basically bring you back to the original race menu so that you can change your character's appearance at any time during the game. Keep in mind that if you actually change your character's race, it will reset your character back to their base starting health, stamina, and magicka. You'll basically be dropped back down to 100 points. There are console commands that you can look up on the Elder Scrolls wiki that will allow you to boost those back up so you could effectively respec your character with a new race mid-game. However, I will say this again, if you start hacking with that kind of thing, it could mess up your game, and I will not be responsible, Game Choice will not be responsible for any goofy stuff that may happen as a result of doing that. Changing your appearance appears to have no effect, but do be aware that as soon as you bring up your appearance bar, for some weird reason, it doesn't reset your character's face structure, but it will reset their coloring. So your skin tone will suddenly default back to the original skin coloring, and every other coloring, the nose color, the eye color, the lip color, all that stuff, will suddenly reset to nothing at all. So be very careful before you complete your new character that you've got everything exactly the way you want it, because some things may reset that you weren't expecting. Another thing that you can do here, this is kind of a funny one, is you can also give your character a sex change. Go ahead and type in sex change. That is the command to turn your characters, your, fa your face will stay the same, but your body will suddenly become male or female, respectively. I've heard that this is an effective way to get persistent arrows or ice shards out of your character's body. Again, I don't know if there are lingering effects. Makes me a little nervous. One final note, since I'm sure that I will get asked this, uh, for taking screenshots and video capture, I use Fraps. You can find that at www.fraps.com. There is a free version. I use the paid version. There are a number of options out there for taking screenshots. Uh, Fraps is the one that I happen to use. All right, that's it from us at GameTours.com. Happy hunting, happy screenshotting, happy fly camming.